Hello everyone and welcome to today's daily challenge here on November 5th, 2020. Uh, from what we can see here, it's a pretty interesting challenge. There's only support towers that we can use uh, and slightly increased health and speed for the balloons. So why don't we get started? We'll start with an engineer. We'll basically place it uh, right where the uh, radius matches the curve of the map. And that's basically the best start uh, to the challenge. We'll go ahead and wait until we can get oversized nails. Once we get that, we're going to wait another couple of rounds till round seven when we can get pin. And then we're going to give it another couple of rounds up until about round 10 when we will finally be able to afford a double shot as well, as you can see right there. We'll go ahead and we'll jump all the way to round 16 where we can afford a uh, banana farm. And that's what we're going to be using for our income over here. We're going to get a Ben ability as, uh, or a Ben tower rather at round 20. At, uh, at the end of round 23, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and get a spike factory, um, which will help with defeating all of the camos and stuff for early game at least. For round 26, we're going to get a 200 spike factory just to help with popping the lead since our engineer can't pop leads as of right now. And then we upgrade it to 201 eventually as well for faster production. At the end of round 29, we go ahead and we upgrade our banana farm to 200 as well. We'll jump all the way to round 32 here when we go ahead and we get another engineer. We get it on the left side of the map over here and we get a cleansing foam with pin as well. So the cleansing foam will help with dealing with camos and leads for early game to help the engineer pop it. At the end of round 34, we'll go ahead and we'll get another spike factory and we'll upgrade that for now to just uh, 100. And then we'll jump to the end of round 36 when we get another farm and we're going to upgrade this one as well to a 200. So we'll go all the way ahead to round 39 where we get a 320 uh, spike factory as you can see here. And then obviously get deconstruction for your engineer, but basically what we're going to be doing here is just as the Moab approaches the engineers, we're going to be using the Ben ability. So that also helps with uh, causing the spike factory to throw more spikes. So you have a better chance of uh, beating the round there. We'll go ahead to round 30, uh, 41 rather, and we'll upgrade another banana farm to uh, 200. In this case, I ended up uh, upgrading all my tower, all my banana towers to uh, 220. I would recommend holding off on that, just because round 43 is a little bit difficult. You should have gotten a uh, an engineer with sprockets instead, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but if you do end up using my strategy here, just use the bend ability once you see all the ceramics, and you'll still be able to beat it. So right here, this is the tower that you should have gotten. So you're going to be uh, getting the um, the engineer uh, with sprockets right beside the first engineer that you placed. We'll go ahead and get a village for the uh, two engineers as well. We'll upgrade it to a 220. And then for round 47, we once again use the Ben ability just to delete all of the ceramics so we don't have to worry about them. And then the, our defense can take care of the uh, camo pinks. We'll go ahead and upgrade one of our spike factories to a 220. And then we will eventually upgrade that one to a uh, 320, as you will see here once again. We'll go ahead all the way to round 49, when we'll upgrade the um, the engineer to sentry expert, as you can see right here. And we'll begin upgrading all of our banana towers to um, 320. We go ahead and we get another spike factory uh, right beside our village over here. This will eventually be our Moab shredder. So you'll see that it's a 020 right now. And in just a second, I go ahead and I upgrade it to a uh, 030. We'll go ahead to the end of round 59 when we get a spiked mines for one of our spike factories just over here. And then we also get a 230 upgrade for the other spike factory that's beside the village. When the uh, BFB is near the uh, engineers, you once again use that uh, Ben ability, like I mentioned. We'll jump to the end of round 64, where we get another spikes mines for our other um, spike factory, as you can see right there. And then we'll get a spike storm for round 66 as well. We'll jump to round 71 once we once again get another spike factory and we upgrade it to a 140. 
So basically, now that we have two spike factories, we can use it a lot more liberally. So we'll go ahead and use the um, spike factory ability on round 75, as you can see here. Uh, once you see that the uh, BFBs turn into Moabs, just go ahead and use the ability. So right there, goes ahead and turns into Moabs right there, and we just use the ability. For round 76, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, immediately, right once you start the round, use the siphon ability. That will turn all the, um, the ceramics into rainbows and then just use the spike storm ability and you're good there. Usually a pretty difficult round, it's made pretty easy with the siphon ability. We'll go ahead and jump to round 78. Uh, for the first wave of ceramics, we didn't need to use the uh, uh, spike storm ability. You can go ahead and do so, it doesn't really matter that much uh, since the spike storm ability will come up uh, by the time the second wave comes. I only use it for the second wave particularly, so not a big deal when you use it. Uh, we finally upgraded our village to a 420 uh, at the end of round 78. And then for round 79, once we see that there's a lot of rainbows over here, we'll go ahead and we'll use the Spike Storm ability once again. The reason why we do this actually is to make sure that uh, we get as much money as possible so we can immediately get primary expertise. That's probably the most important uh, tower that you're going to need for round 79. And then we go ahead and use the Spike Storm ability to defeat the fortified BFBs because why not? Finally, for round 80, really easy, I would say. All you have to do is once again use the Siphon ability right once you start the round. That'll turn the ZOMG into one BFB and your defense will easily be able to take care of one BFB. So that's pretty easy. Obviously, if you guys have any questions or concerns about this challenge or uh, just want to talk in the comment section down below, uh, please be sure to do so. But other than that, please be uh, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Take care.